Hey Virgo, happy Saturday to you. This is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the family. <clears throat> this is a message about your spiritual gifts. Message, that's too many. Message about your spiritual gifts, Virgo. What message does Spirit have for you regarding your spiritual gifts? You are clear audience. Okay, you hear things. You hear messages from Spirit. Our audience and your meditation will bring <clears throat> excuse me when you're meditating uh when you get in meditation mode that's going to actually open you up to hear the messages that spirit has for you to hear those messages clearly and stay rooted and grounded as well making sure you're ready to take your spiritual bath get out and walk outside walking in the park grounding yourself Keeping yourself grounded, keeping your energy cleansed as well, Virgo, is going to help you to open up those chakras as well. Message regarding your spiritual gifts. Awakening, okay? Awakening. You are no longer letting people dictate and run your life for you. You're finally waking the F up. And that's definitely going to help you uh, attain a higher level of peace in your life. Energy healer. Your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed right now, Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me, because you are a natural healer. I'm hearing also you are, na are a natural born leader leader is somebody getting woken up by a woodpecker we have entrepreneur entrepreneur but be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. This could be you starting your own YouTube channel, your own spiritual business, your own Reiki healing business. I'm also hearing something about a hair braiding business as well for someone. Starting your own uh, uh, YouTube channel for uh, read a tarot card reader, oracle cards, whatever you want to do with your spiritual gifts or whatever gift you have. Gift. Whatever gift you have in general, it's time to get that started. Maybe you're eating some Jif peanut butter, all right? Oh, ooh, some Jif, Jif, Jif peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Speaking up, your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Speak your truth. And this could be some, in, some truth of, about your your. Your gift, your spirit, your gift, something that you've been hiding under a bushel, not really wanting anybody to know that you have this gift, but you're able to predict things that happen in their lives. Well, you told me this was going to happen and it happened. How the heck did you know that? Because you have a you have a, a clear audience spiritual gift. <clears throat> education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Oh, bottom of the deck. Look, natural born leader. Okay, I said that earlier, but you have an education. Maybe some of you all want to be a teacher. Maybe you grew up always wanting to be a teacher, but you realize like, heck, kids these days in schools, they fight teachers. Uh, they're, do it, they're, they're disrespectful in the classroom. I don't want to be a teacher anymore. All right. This is you questioning your ability not to handle students, but to actually see yourself in that situation where, where you don't want to have to put your hands on somebody else's MF and child because they're disrespectful and hard headed. Mm -mm. Okay. Message about your spiritual gifts. Become more objective. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes the messages that you hear in your head, you don't feel is making any, any sense to you. And maybe they're making sense to others. Maybe that's just messages for other people who you're reading for, or you're picking up on their energy. It's necessarily not your energy. It's someone else's. And you want to be more objective to the message that you're hearing to be sure who you're, if you're putting it out for, for yourself or for somebody else who, who 
um, who is that intended for? Is that my message? Or if you're doing a reading for someone, uh, you want to make sure that you're picking up on their energy, but keeping yours out of the, out of the game. Okay. Love your body. Love who spirit made you out to be. Break some addictions. If you're having some issues with overeating, uh, maybe drinking so much, uh, putting unhealthy substances and unhealthy people in your body. Okay. Love your body. Break this addiction that you have. Break this addiction to thinking negatively about yourself. It's time for you to be to rebirth, to do some things different, differently with your health and with your body. OK, what is it that you need to change? What addiction to yourself? Do you need to break the sugar addiction, um, the sexual addiction, the, the, the <coughs> excuse me? Do you need to break an addiction to eating fried foods, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, steaks, whatever you need to do, smoking, whatever. Break that addiction. Love your body. OK, love your body back to health. So. Whatever it is that you're seeing and seeking within, don't worry about it. Love who you are right now. Okay. Stop tripping off of who you used to be or I was this amount of weight back then or, or I couldn't I couldn't pick up weight then. Now I can't let it go. Or, you know. It's about you becoming one with yourself, clearing out what no longer serves you. Embrace meditation. Yeah, meditation is will bring you your will bring you your answers. If you're not used to meditation, or if you've never done it before, there are plenty of, of, of meditation videos on YouTube that you could that you can use to help center yourself. Embrace that meditation. That's going to be where your answers are going to come from. All right. Maybe you even teach meditation classes. It's a yes. Whatever it is you've been questioning spirit for, whatever answer you've been waiting for, it's a yes. It could be about a, a house. It could be about a loan. It could be about a car. It could be about whether or not you should leave a relationship or give this person a chance that's coming, a new person that's entered your life. Yes. Okay. Should you should you go over, over um, <laughs> or should, should you know how, should you handle this person at work if he's pissing you off in a way that you want to handle that person? Yes. However, there, however you resonate with that, it's a yes. Okay. Just don't go to jail. Just don't do it in front of cameras. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Message about your spiritual gift. You have the gift of prophecy. You have the gift to prophesy for people as well as yourself. You're getting messages in your sleep, uh, possibly through some automatic writing. You're possibly hearing clear messages, clear saying, uh, is it saying, I can't even think, quite audience message. I'm all said sententian. Saying who? What the hell is saying? Clear, 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 clear sentient messages, Virgo, too, as well. You have some artistic, artistic gifts that you, uh, possibly some automatic writing, possibly writing or drawing pictures. Who is, who's, who is that? You don't know who it is, but other people may because you're seeing this in your head and you're a fully charged empath, okay? Definitely on the journey of learning more about your, your spiritual grift, grift, your spiritual gift, this talent that you have. Yeah, your spiritual journey is here. Some of you all are just now new, are new to this spiritual journey. Where am I at? What am I doing with this? Where, where, where do you want me to go with this gift, spirit? Tell me, lead me, guide me. You're gonna find those answers through meditation. Hoodoo and root worker, Mix, mixing things, maybe mixing love potions for people, uh, giving them some some sort of elixirs to help them heal, uh, to clear their energy, whatever. You have a gift in doing something like that. This includes also making candles for people, maybe some uh, personalized candles that you're making for love spells, for money, energy, bringing on energy in, getting out negative energy, letting negative energy out of your homes. Smoking weed could help you ascend. Smoking weed could help you ascend, Virgo. Take you to all kinds of levels. Could also help you meditate as well. And don't be afraid of your gift. 
Don't be afraid of your gift, Virgo. You may be afraid to use it. You may be ashamed to use it. You may think that you are crazy, whatever. Don't be afraid to use this gift. It's given to you for a reason. All right. Universal Bank, everything you need to thrive is already here. You have everything you need to just get up and start doing what makes you happy, what makes you feel whole again in your life. All right. This is some 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 hidden treasure that you never knew you had or you had it and you never used it. Your spiritual gift. Bottom of the deck is actually spiritual gift. I'll read that one next. We have hidden treasure. You have brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored. Your spiritual gift is just pouring out of you. And people see this energy around you. Uh, yeah, people love your energy. They, they sap you dry because they're feeling that energy come off of you. You're at a high, you are operating at a higher plane than other people around you. And the energy that you have is so hypnotic that it draws people in. You have a bunch of unintentional energy vampires around you, Virgo. Okay. Spiritual gifts. You are in the process of developing and fine tuning your spiritual gifts. But the more you know, the further you will grow with this, especially once you start meditating. You're getting ready to have a shift in perception that will change everything. It's going to change everything. Not only are you going to see, feel, taste, you're going to, you're going to, all of your senses are going to be heightened during this short little period of you uh, getting used to your spiritual gifts. You're allowing those, those spiritual gifts to, come, gifts to come out. All right. You are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action. It's like you're feeling, you're thinking, possibly even I'm hearing dreaming in color. Sometimes I'll have a dream. I don't remember if it was color or black and white, um, but it's definitely dreams that uh, that you are having. The messages could be for you, could be for somebody else. Maybe you're having some dreams that you don't even know why you're having them. You know, why did I dream about this? You know, I had a dream the other night. My mother, uh, she passed away. You all know that. Um, she passed away. It'll be three years in November. Um, and in the dream, she was working and she kept telling me her boss was looking inside her purse. I'm like, what is he looking inside your purse for? And then I woke up, you know, so you may, may, just, may just be having some dreams that you're not understanding. One time I had a dream about her. I remember her, but I, all, all I remember what remember was her mentioning something about bay leaves. My mother never used bay leaves for anything. So I still don't know what that one meant. Okay. Your spiritual gifts. We're going to keep these two. Gift of discernment <laughs> and herbs and, and butter. And, I'm sorry. Herbs are better for you, Virgo. All right. Using your gift of discernment. That could also mean maybe not using a lot of salt when you cook, watching your salt intake. Oh, setting some spells too. Very clair clairvoyant as well. You're seeing things. Uh, some of you all are, are maybe practicing witches. You're using real spells that you make or you know somebody. It could be somebody in your family line that has done that lineage that has, has practiced witch spells on people and taught you a few things. People see again, people love your energy. And we have here spell casting, casting spells with this energy that you have. OK, but you cast a spell, Virgo, just by your, your your mere presence. People look at you and you are spell cast walking. It's like people are, are hypnotized by you just by who just by your very essence. All right. And you love crystals, the lover of crystals. If you've been watching the last few days, you realize that I, I found this crystal here. In my front yard, I found a couple of more. I showed you all those the other day, but this here is my favorite. Um, the other two, out, they're still outside. Um, something is telling me not to bring those in the house. So I'm going to leave those out there. So, um, But definitely, you're possibly loving crystals. Possibly have your own collection of crystals. But making sure you're cleansing your energy as well. What other messages do I have about your spiritual gifts? If you're feeling up if you're feeling guilty about your gifts focus on your higher truth don't feel guilty about this true gift that you have from spirit um maybe you don't want to talk about it maybe maybe you're you're 
<clears throat> excuse me, you're hiding this or you want it to stay hidden. You don't bring it up to anybody. You don't talk about it. It's possible your family members didn't want you to dabble in and things this way. So you want to, I'm hearing things of this sort. So you want to keep it to itself, to yourself. But Spirit is saying, focus on your truth. Focus on your truth. Not what they say that they want you to follow. What do you think? How do you feel about this? Okay. I'm hearing everybody has two faces. You you may have to, to have one face in front of your family, but another face in front of your the people that that like you, like your followers, your your subscribers or whatever. What's your truth? Don't keep quiet about your gift. We have show self-respect. Show self-respect and take posit positive action. Okay. Some of y'all need to relieve anxiety by maybe taking a spiritual bath here. Take action and take a spiritual bath. If there's something bothering you, you're uh, an anxious about something or uh, maybe a little depressed, that's going to help you. Also, when you're in that tub, that can help you motivate as well. I'm sorry, uh, meditate as well. All right. But we have here social, social, show some respect. I kind of feel like this is about your um, taking care of your body, better care of your health. You know, love your body. <coughs> Excuse me, you. I'm still dealing with this bronchitis. Um, show self-respect. This is you dealing with how you are, what you what are you putting inside your body, healthy eating habits, whether you're drinking or smoking, whatever that, that you are doing. I'm not saying stop doing it, but find a different way around it. All right. If in, until we're, this is saying something about. Listen, the messages that you are hearing and receiving from spirit, you know, um, sometimes you don't say anything, but sometimes it's the, it's the best to let it out. So you won't be holding on to some people's energy. That's not yours. Find a way to cleanse that energy as well. All right. The, if the energy, energy does not serve you, don't hold on to it, especially if it's somebody else's energy. Make sure you're cleansing, using your crystals, using your sage, using your prayers, using spirit's guidance. Stop breaking agreements. If you're going to tell us, if you're going to do something, do it. Don't say, and you possibly hate for somebody to tell you something that, that they're going to do and they don't do it. Yeah, spirit feels the same way. If you're going to do something, do it. Don't break. If you had set up an agreement with spirit, do it. Okay. Don't back down. If you made an agreement with spirit to do something and you've done it for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, and you stop, go right back to it. Okay. Go right back to it. Be true to yourself. OK, develop stronger concentration. And that, that, that can be different from it for any of us It's through meditation It's through what you're hearing, what you're sensing, what you're feeling. Sometimes what even even what it is you're tasting, concentrate more on your spiritual gift. OK, because honestly, your your um, I'm hearing your third eye chakra is, is begging to be fired up to be lightened, to be heightened for you. It's there. Your, your gift is there. It's just sitting there. Use your gift. Okay. Use your gift. We're going to get a final card. I am open for uh, some same day reading. So if you're interested in a same day reading, I'll put the contact information in the description section and it's in the description section, but I will also put it in the comments. Speaking up, your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Speak up. This came out again for you. Somebody here like to crochet as well. Maybe sell some crochets. Get you some money, some pillows or something or Afghans or whatever. Making you some extra money. That's a whole bunch. But I want to keep the one that's... Okay. So we're going to use all three. We have automatic, automatic negative thoughts. You are learning to take charge of the thoughts you choose to give life to. So you're changing your thought process. You're not letting a lot of things get to you like you used to. You're like, I'm not going to let it bother me. I've, I've spoken up about this. I'm releasing those negative thoughts and those negative people that's been in my life. I'm no longer dealing with it. We have fear. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life you deserve. And you need to start speaking up. So you, your fear has been lessened. I, I do feel like you've recently spoken up about something, automatic negative thoughts. You're wiping those away because you've learned to take charge of what no longer serves you. Increase. 
You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. It could be a raise. It could be a new job. It could be a new home. It could be family situations getting better. It could be your health getting better. These are the choices that you have made with your spiritual gift included and inclined for you to live a happier, better, prosperous life, Virgo. Okay. I hope this message resonates. I'm going to follow this reading up with a message from those loved ones who are on the upside. All right. Talk to you in a minute.